So I'm going to talk to you about Angular Augury. Uh, a little bit about myself, uh, three things like you know I, I like to say. I work at 500 Tech, NG Girls, and The Beetle. I don't have time, so <laughs> let's go on. You see everything, great. So what is Augury? Augury is the practice, an ancient practice, of interpreting omens uh, from the observed flights of birds. Um, so an augur is someone who does that, who practices that, not to be confused with an ogre, all right? Sure. Uh, so uh, how do we make your life easier and better with angular augury? So let's do a demo. Let's uh, let take a look at some resources. Um, OK, so uh, first of all, this is the Augury website. You have everything here. You have resources, demos, all the explanations, everything you need. Um, Augury is actually um, a Chrome extension tools. It is written in Angular 2, and it is open source. You can contribute to it really easily. Um, OK, so the uh, Augury team has um, prepared um, a few demos for us. Um, so I'm not going to go through this demo so much, just to, to show you a bit of uh, uh, what you can do. You can, um, it use, uses change detection, so it highlights uh, what is changed in the application. You can see the whole application structure here. Um, you can also see the router tree, which is really, really cool. There's all the routes, auxiliary routes, everything, lots of information. So it makes it really easier for us as developers or managers or whoever to uh, get into a project, to understand its structure, um, to, um, um, to, to get into a, a teamwork um, just by looking at, the, at this uh, Chrome extension. OK. so. I have here a, a small application that I've written, and uh, it's basically a timer. And it tells me that I have, well, that's not really true. I have less than that. But I want to test. Maybe I want to test my application. I want to test my uh, timer. So I'm going to the timer demo component, or to, oh, no, to the timer component. I want to see that it works fine with uh, seconds that are less than 10, that it adds the uh, zero before that. But uh, so I just. Uh, type here uh, 10 and uh, jump straight to 10 seconds so I can see that. I want to uh, check if it works well with, uh, num um, with numbers, um, with uh, minutes that are below zero. What would it do then? Okay, so let's, t uh, let's change the uh, minutes. You see it? Okay, great. Let's change it to minus one. Let's see if it goes well. Okay. Um, perfect, right? It's, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure it counts in the right direction. Okay, I found a bug. That's really great. But I didn't have to uh, wait a long time for the timer to get to that point so I can test it. I can just change the values of the inputs and, uh, and jump to the place that I want to, to be in, the, in my application. Okay, so I want to open the time setter, but it doesn't open. I don't know why. So let's take a look. Um, that it, this component uh, lives here. I have this the setter open uh, property, and it's false. Let's see if, if anything happens. No, it remains false. Uh, so I'll change it to true. OK, now it opens. So something is wrong in my code. So I can just, if I stand on this component, I can just um, click on view source and jump to the component source uh, code and just check it out and see what's wrong. All right, that's cool. So now um, I can, uh, uh, I'll go back to the Augury um, uh, uh, web uh, extension and uh, I'll try to work with the setter, okay? So let's see, I'll, I want to add 100 minutes, uh, but I can add only one at a time, let's see. OK, but I want to add a lot, of, a lot more time for me because I want to speak a lot. I can't do a lightning talk in five minutes. It's really, really crazy. So um, 
Uh, so I'm going to the timer component, and um, um, yeah, no, I'm opening, yeah. All right, the timer component, and I'm going to, um, oh my god, where is it? <laughs> uh, emit an event, I can find it. All right. That's um, zero, no. Um, there's supposed to be an, to emit an event, let's see. I can, oh, I can em emit events here, and it uh, did something that I didn't expect because I wasn't on the right component. I'm sorry, I can't find the, re the output uh, that I wanted. Something changed in my application, I need to debug it. Okay, so I can jump to zero uh, to, event, to emit a zero event, and then you see what happens when it reaches zero. All right, so um, what else? Uh, that's how Augury can make your life easier, but how does it make it better? Um, Augury is open source and contributing to it is really, really welcome. It's um, the Augury team really make it easy for you to contribute and they really want your opinion and your uh, code. Um, and uh, you can find uh, my uh, presentation already here in speaker deck where I published the uh, slide with um, the links that I'm going to show you here. All right, so there's lots of material about Augury. There's video, there's demos, everything. Um, a lot more to know. All right, so we were here in the demo, and that was me, and you can uh, contact me with any questions or anything you'd like. Thank you for having me.